Hi, this is Mrs. Bratcher, and we are preparing for the Moss Word Expert exam. And in this lesson, we're going to learn how to compare, compare and combine documents. Here are the steps. If you need to save these, go ahead and snip them and save them in a document so you can refer back to them later. In step one, you're going to open your original document. You're then going to go to the Review tab, and then on that ribbon, you're going to look for the Compare group, and then you're going to click on the Compare button. At this point, you have two options, Compare or Combine, and I want to just compare them because I'm not sure which changes I want to keep. You want to choose the original document on the left, so you'll find that document, and then the revised document on the right. Label changes with is where you can put somebody's name. I'm going to find my revised document by clicking on the folder. I'm going to compare it with version B. And we can change the name here to whoever changes those were. Or version 2. You're going to notice that over here at the top is the original document. Down below is version B, and over here on the left is the version that we are comparing. You should also notice that there are nine revisions over here in this task pane. We can see where things have been bolded. We can see where a section has been deleted, and you would just scroll through those changes. If you don't like this view under Compare, show source documents, you can change how you're viewing it. You can show original, revised, or both. And right now we're viewing both. To customize the settings more, when comparing your two documents, choose your documents, specify how you want Word to label them, but then you can choose more. And this is where you can decide what you really want Word to show you. For instance, you may not care to compare if there's been a comment or not, or any formatting changes may not be necessary for you to see. So you decide what it is that you want to check off. Where it says show changes, show changes at. You can do the word level or a new document and the revised document. All this is up to you on how you want to view the changes. Word will allow you to combine two documents. However, you're going to have to choose between either the changes in the original document or the changes in the document you're comparing it with. So before you can move forward, you'll have to make a decision as to which change you want to keep. It's going to merge both documents and only keep one set of changes. To combine documents, you're going to go to the Review tab. You're going to go to the Compare group. Click Compare and Combine. Choose the original document on the left. Choose the changed document on the right. You can click on the folder to find the file. Put the initials that you want and I'm just going to put version B, and I'm going to call this one over here on the left, version A. If you do not see the settings, choose more, and this is where you would check off or uncheck the things that you want Word to display. At that point, you'd click OK, and it's going to combine the documents. If you do not like the way that it's showing up, you just have to change the view. And we'll go back and show you that. If it's not showing all of your documents at once, just click Compare, Show Source Documents, and you can choose to show both revised, original, or hide source documents. This would be a great tool to use if you've had a peer edit your paper and you want to combine their changes with your original.